All right. Um, <clears throat> so this one, I don't know if you've seen this, Sharon. I have not. I'm excited. Mm. So this um, this is something I built that I've used again and again and again. So I wanted to be able to tell not only when the value went above and below the threshold, but how long, mm. how long it was above the threshold. So exciting. Um, <clears throat> This is a little abstraction that I just gave it this title, Above Below Timer. It, that's what it does. It times the aboveness and the belowness of a thing. So inside here, it's basically the same as before, where we have the past objects. And um, one side of it's been inverted so that, uh, uh, you know, so you get above and below. But then it runs into this object called Clocker. Clocker, just when you give it a one, it starts the cl a clock timer. You give it a zero, it stops it. So um, in the end, after all this is working, you set a threshold and then you've got this value. When it goes below the value, you can see you get the below bang, just like normal, but also starts this timer. So it's been five seconds, six, seven, and then above. Now the time below freezes, it stops the, the clock. But now we've been above, you can tell exactly how, how long you've been above the timer. Um, this can be really useful for, let's say, um, let's say you're mapping the amplitude uh, from a microphone to uh, that becomes the value. So as I talk, the value goes up, <clears throat> and then when I'm quiet, it goes down. Sometimes you want you want to trigger something to happen when the sound has been loud enough, but only when it's been loud enough for a long enough period of time. So like if the sound goes above a threshold for five seconds, then do something. Right. Otherwise, don't do anything. So how do, you, how do you tell the five seconds thing? And then you would just use the past object. So if we do past 5,000, that will detect um, <clears throat> when the value goes past uh, five seconds. And then so you could have something like um, when the value goes beyond this threshold for five seconds, then you get this bang. Three, four, five. So cool. Yeah. And it resets and it'll do it again if you do it again. So that is this uh, above below timer thing. I also think this should be a basic object in Max that does, you know, uh, it times how long something's been above or below a threshold. Right. But that's what's great about Max is if you, the object doesn't exist, you can you make an make abstraction. It. And I've copy and pasted from this a hundred times. So hmm. um, anyway, all right. What I, I, I don't know what I to use this for. I have nothing else to contribute. It's a cool thing. Okay. It is fun.